Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This has been sent to me from geekbind.com and it's a HS 18322 and it is a four wheel drive 18 scale buggy. So let's just have a look. So this is the car itself. It's got a flat bottom pan. It's got a battery in the bottom, which is the only thing I don't like about this truck. Spoiler alert there. It's the only thing I don't like about it. It has a little screw that holds the battery in. It comes with a 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, which is a nice thing to see. Sometimes you get nickel metal hydrides in this. Fully proportional. Let's just have a look under the hood. So as you can see here, you've got your steering servo, yeah brushed motor and in here you've got your ESC and receiver combo and it's got a five wire servo it has obviously spring suspension um, shock absorber suspension these are obviously not oil filled they're just friction shocks it's the only thing about it that lets it down a little bit but it hasn't got oil filled shocks but for the price you're probably not going to get oil filled shocks are you so the tyres are quite soft in the centres but the outwards are quite rigid on them uh, the one bit massive benefit about this car is how much the kicking it can take it's very flexible so if you look at the front bumper there's no hard plastic on this it's very soft and flexible i've crashed it so many times it's untrue and it just keeps coming back for more it's all plastic components everything's plastic as you can see on the on the steering and everything but it really is a truck that can just take a kick in this is perfect for someone just getting into it the ones i've go with an rc car that's not too fast it says 32 kilometers an hour on the box it's more or 36 i believe it says it's more like 22 i think it was 22 when i speed tested it this is your shell the shell is actually decent it, because this thing has been abused to death and you can see it's just i don't know if you probably can't see that but it's just got a couple of scuff marks on the top no cracks nothing at all on it this is the controller, so the transmitter is your typical transmitter, it's got a bit of foam on the wheel there and it has forwards and backwards and it has an on and off switch here, it's the only thing on the controller and it runs on three AA, three, two, three AA batteries. Let's just turn it on and I'll show you what it's like. So this is your battery, so this is your battery that I said, 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion, just slipped in the bottom there. One thing I will say is there's no screw holding this battery train at the minute because I took it out to do the review. You have to put it in because I found out the hard way the battery cover will just fly off if you go over a curb or something. Even though it's got a clip on there, it's not enough to hold it unfortunately. So it will come off. It's got an on and off switch on the side here. We'll just flick it on, flick the transmitter on. And there you go, it's found. So the servo, it's not the fastest in the world, but it's certainly not the slowest, I've seen far slower than that. And just to give you an impression of what it looks like speed wise, that's full speed, that's brake, and then, now the brake is actually quite vicious, it doesn't have stop when you flick the trigger forward, so. It's nice, don't get me wrong, this isn't, this isn't the top of the range, this is for someone just, I'd say, coming into it. Or you just want something to play. I've, I've enjoyed playing with this. When I, I think when they sent it to me with around £40, I don't know what price it is now. I'll put a link in the description down below for it. So for Geek Bayard, not sure what the cost is now. It was about 40 when they sent it to me. And for that, I think it's okay for the money. Like I say, it's not a world beater. Tom Lee RC reviewed it. I don't know if you've ever checked his channel out, but Picard is fantastic. And he reviewed this a little bit ago and he came to a fairly similar conclusion to me. It just takes the beating and keeps going. And that's what it does. And when you're first learning or you're young into this, I think that's the most important thing. And then it's just held on with four body clips you get. You get a charger in the box, your typical USB type charger. And I think for the money, it's great. I'm going to leave you with some footage. I've just, all I've done is filmed it, driving it outside on the road, outside the house here. You're going to get some kind of impression of what it drives like, what it can handle, how fast it is, etc, etc. And you'll make your own mind up. Thanks ever so much for watching. And as always, have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up